So Dumtype are an artist collective that were founded in 1984 in Kyoto in Japan uh, by disgruntled students who were studying at the Kyoto uh, University of the Arts. And since their first uh, installations and performances, the form of the group, the number of members, uh, has constantly changed. They work on specific projects and depending on the, the aims of the project, um, there are different members that contribute. ま、the work of dumb types really been at the forefront of questions uh, concerning the interplay of the body and new technology, uh, digital technology but also questions pertaining to uh, hitherto taboo subjects such as um, HIV AIDS, for example, questions pertaining to gender, to communication. And they were really at the forefront of this, uh, not just in Japan, but really globally. They're also particularly interested in the ways in which new technologies, and in particularly nowadays digital uh, communications have actually completely changed the way we, we perceive ourselves in the world and re our relationship to one another. Uh, so what that means is that the idea that uh, new technologies don't just open up the potential to communicate with you know potentially the entire world, but through mistranslations or through potential errors um, brought about by uh, social media, um, through uh, all, you know programs that automatically uh, change the way we talk. They also want to show how actually uh, these technologies also create a sort of sense of separation and distance. And so in this regard, uh, this exhibition here is not simply just a retrospective of an, of an artist group that were very important in the 80s and 90s, but really um, how their works were very much at the forefront of questions that uh, we are asking ourselves today with respect to uh, technology. いろんな考え方があると思うんですけども、僕は作品っていうのは半分しかそこに物としては存在していなくて、後の半分は観客の鑑賞者、鑑賞者の中にあるものだと思っているんですね。なのでその人たちが見て何かをその人たちの中から引
uh, Trace React 2, uh, was a work that was shown very, very briefly in, um, in Tokyo at the Museum of Contemporary Art uh, at the very beginning of uh, 2020. A dumb type entered five keywords into the search engine and uh, the results, uh, there's over 20,000 results of, of these words and they've created this sort of moving, shifting um, choreography of, of words that float and disappear and reappear. Um, and this work has also been very much tailored to the space in which it's displayed. Um, the work comprises four projectors. Uh, and this uh, almost sort of spinning sort of cacophony of words that aren't just um, projected on the walls but actually go up into the ceilings. Uh, in this case, highlight the, particular, the particularities of the ceilings here in, in the House of the Kunst Galleries. Uh, and they are then reflected on this mirrored floor. Uh, the floor itself uh, refers to an older dumb type work, uh, Voyage, or which was uh, in which there was this mirrored floor that again reflected this sort of video content. And in the center, there's a large uh, black carpeted space, which actually refers to another performance of theirs uh, called uh, 2020, in which they uh, cut a giant hole in the center of a stage and all of the dancers had to really sort of uh, negotiate this, this space. So what they do with uh, every new iteration of a project and it, it really, really helps to think about dumb types work as a sort of ongoing, pro, on, ongoing series of projects rather than specific works, is that they take all of these elements, they combine elements of, of other projects, of, of other performances and installations, and they reconfigure them into, into a new space. The final work in the exhibition uh, is dates from 2014 and it's called Memorandum or Voyage uh, and it actually comprises segments from uh, three different projects. It first began as a performance project OR in 1997. They didn't just take elements from this performance so it's very important to know that this is not a documentation of a performance um, but each of these performances also um, resulted in several uh, installation works, um, interactive, uh, you know, interactive displays and they combined elements of all of this plus incorporated new segments into the work uh, for the or segment. Or refers to uh, this element of indecisiveness between two, two propositions, you know, either or, uh, in the, uh, life or death, for example. Uh, it's also an abbreviation for operating room within the context of a hospital. Uh, and uh, you know, it really looked at the ways in which um, technology really dictated how we perceive life and death. And one, one, one hears that with the, the heartbeat machine that goes through. When there is a patient lying on a bed, uh, it's really the machine that's telling us whether or not the patient is alive or dead. So the connection between uh, Fujiko no Kaya and Dumb Type goes right back to the 1980s when uh, Dumb Type were first starting out. Nakaya founded a very, very influential gallery in Tokyo called Scan, and actually uh, several members of Dumb Type independently uh, exhibited work, video work and multimedia work for the one of the first times at Scan Gallery. So that was the original connection. And then several members have, have uh, collaborated with Nakaya on several projects. Most famously, uh, Shiro Takatani. Uh, Nakaya sculptures are obviously this continually shifting and changing form uh, that are contingent upon uh, the environment in which they're exhibited, as well as the time in which they're exhibited. Uh, similarly, the uh, dumb type, as I've already said, is a, you know, a collective whose form in, and as well as their output constantly changes and adapts according to the environment in which they're exhibited. So I think that's a really important connection between the two.